Aloha, everyone, and welcome to your Lionsgate portal messages from spirit. This is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly. So the pick a card reading that we have here today, group one, you're the card on the left. Group two, you're the card on the middle. And group three, you're the card on the right. Okay, so please choose your card now for the Lionsgate portal. And we'll discuss what that means in just a moment. Aloha. Aloha group one. This is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your Lionsgate portal um, activation spirit messages. Okay. And so the Lionsgate portal happens um, every year on 8-8. So you'll have 72 hours before the Lionsgate portal where the energy activates and 72 hours after. Okay. The Lionsgate portal is when um, uh, Sirius lines up with the Orion belt, lines up with the pyramid in, um, in Egypt. And so it opens a, um, a portal, if you will, or the veils very thin during the Lionsgate. So um, people can ascend rapidly. So you'll have rapid information coming in. Um, changes to the DNA take place because of um, the streams of light that are coming in during that time. And so we're just going to look into what this Lionsgate portal is bringing you, the advice from spirit, just whatever message spirit wants to say. So group one, the rune that you got is um, defense. So we're going to look a little farther into that and just see what that means, okay? So first up, we have the cards called the Wisdom Keepers. This is another type of archetype. These are based off of the Gene Keys. Um, and it's um, all channels that are available inside the design of the human being. And we're just going to see which ones shows up. And what showed up for you is discernment. Okay. So already what I'm seeing, group one, is that where you're going to have a victory with the Lionsgate portal is through learning defense and protection, a learning to avert power, like a learning to avoid or use your discernment for powers or things that are there to, um, I don't want to say harm you, but there to, um, do things that are not so of the highest light, right? And so you're learning discernment and you're activating greatly in your discerning powers to choose between spirits to see what is really going on when a person comes to you and they seem one way in your face and then another way behind the scenes. I feel like group one, you've been very, very loving individuals and sometimes get taken advantage of. And so this Lionsgate portal is aligning you with your power, your powers of discernment and your powers of right action that help you to defend yourself from um, those that wish to um, harm. What's coming in for you is divine animals. And look at that, it's the lion itself. Okay, this Lionsgate is bringing in the divine animals that are also your archetypal beings, okay? You can rely on that. We have soul journey next. And then we have let your light shine. Okay, so what this tells me, group one, is that you are moving into another level of your soul. Uh, this lion's gate is bringing in ascension that's sending you on a soul journey. It's going to teach you to discern between spirits. Some of you may be opening up the powers of mediumship or communication with animals. Communi communication in realms other than this physical one. So this journey that you're going on is going to require discernment. It's going to require you to um, look at all sides of the pictures. The divine animals are coming in to help. When I first started waking up to higher frequency levels and um, when mediumship abilities came in for me, the animals started to show up. So I wrote a book on spirit animals because 
um, they just kept showing up and it was signs and signals from my un and subconscious minds to tell me which way to go on my path. So group one, I feel like you're moving into really letting your light shine. This Lionsgate portal is going to take you on a journey that's going to heighten your frequencies um, a lot. Um, next up, these are the Lemurian, Beyond Lemuria cards. So you have full spectrum. So you're moving into the full spectrum of your being, all sides of the polarity. You're moving in from Earth um, and, and the energy of the death that's, um, that's in the Earth all the way up through the crown and the light that's the electricity that keeps us alive because we need all of the regenerative process. So you're waking up your full spectrum. You have stepping through. So you're stepping through the portal. This says to group one that you are going to do it, okay? And you have the defense and the discernment are gonna be your protection as you step through and into this new light and this new life. Um, and then <laughs> you got home. And home is truly where the heart is. This is also um, connecting in with your home frequency, okay? Home frequency may not be earth, okay? So you're, you're stepping through the portal of your own being. I can see that your DNA is restructuring. You're, you'll have information coming in from your home planet, your home frequency, that part of your soul that maybe you haven't woken up yet, okay? Um, and you're having the discernment and the defense to go through this. So you'll have this protection and the defense is the discernment. So learning how to say no as you're going through and stepping through this portal because you really are embarking on a new journey. Even if you've been on your soul's journey for quite some time as far as the awakening process goes, you're going to be moving into this, um, this new side of yourself that you haven't quite seen yet and it's really going to be encouraging it's going to make you feel more at home both on earth and in your body because I feel like some of you have felt a little bit like where do I belong is the question that I keep hearing and this is going to help you to feel that sense of belonging it's going to open up the full spectrum of your capabilities um, and it's gonna help you to step through you have the Merkaba multiple times so you're going to be learning how to come from your heart and journey from there, even when you're astral traveling. Okay, so this soul's journey, this lion skate, spirit saying, look, we're opening you up. We're awakening you in a uh, much higher frequency and you're protected by using your discernment. You're protected by choosing correct action, choosing right action. Um, that's your defense is choosing correct action some of that may be to go through the confrontation some of it may be to avoid the confrontation to know when to step away to know that your peace is more important than being right okay and so spirit saying look we're taking you on this journey look to the animals they're really going to help you and this portal it's just doubling up saying this lion's gate look to um look to leo and the heart of all things that's really helping you to find your power and step into your power to step through the portal to your home within yourself okay um and some of you really may be learning to adventure through all the worlds because you're going full spectrum um, so this is exciting you guys group one I'm excited about your journey this is from the soul and um, until next time please do like share subscribe enjoy um, please stay hydrated as you go through the lion's gate um, use your discernment um, please do like share subscribe comment and then um, yeah I think that's it until next time aloha <laughs> Aloha group two, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your Lionsgate activation spirit messages. 
So the Lionsgate portal happens um, every year on 8-8, so 72 hours before it opens the doors, 72 hours after is the closing. And so um, this is a time where how the stars are aligned, it opens up um, a portal for us. There's um, much more light energy coming in from the star system of Sirius. It's aligning with the pyramids in Giza. Um, there's lots of activations that happen. So this is a sacred um, time every year because it opens and awakens our DNA to um, higher levels of frequency. So what we're going to check in is what is this Lionsgate bringing to you, group two? Um, what does spirit want to tell you about the activations that are occurring during the Lionsgate portal? Okay, so the rune that you got is the warrior, okay? The warrior is the spiritual warrior. This is a, a, a sign of you being in your power, you choosing right action. This is a sign of you being um, uh, in this Lionsgate. You're moving into the strength of your own being. And um, next we're gonna use the, um, the Wisdom Keepers guidebook and cards. What this is, is um, based off the gene keys, and it's another archetype. So we're gonna look at the archetype that's moving through you, and it's altruism, which is great. Look at that. Because you've embraced and come into your own spiritual warrior, now you're um, moving into being able to share and teach, train, and assist other people on their journey. So this is the time where you are so filled with light that you're able to give back, okay? <laughs> there is only light. This is our messages there. There's only light. <laughs> and mopeds, apparently. All right. So in this time, I feel like group two, you have done so much clearing and cleaning and other things that there's been some polarity okay well that's dense or dark or heavy or whatever and what spirit's saying is as you're coming through this portal and moving into your spiritual warrior you're coming to the understanding that there is only light that even in the polarity it's all part of the process of light okay we have color this is the color of your being this is the color of um life so you're going to be learning the color of your heart and what i mean by that so color has sound color has frequency so as you're coming into this spiritual warrior you're learning the value and the gradients of light you're learning how the different codes work with others so that you can give back some of you may be in healing professions because how I'm seeing this is you using your light um, to help assist others in other ways. Yep, because you've got sensitivity here. Okay, so sensitivity tells me that your senses are um, going to be heightened during this time. So if you're um, a healer or like a massage therapist like me, chiropractor, someone who does hands-on work, nurse, what have you, um, your light is going to be coming forward. Uh, Lionsgate portal is activating your um, balancing and healing codes. You're going to become more sensitive and you'll learn how to use color as um, and frequency as healing tools as part of your give back. Okay, we have evolution. We have star seer. Okay. And we have awakened awareness. Yeah. Okay. So group two, you're really coming into an evolution of your soul. The star seer is the one that can see through the worlds, um, have contact with beings from other planets, your star seed from another place here to help others. Okay. And you're coming into another level of awakened awareness your sensitivity is increasing you're evolving quickly so spirit saying great thank you this is how you're going to give back and 
in this evolution, because notice it's the evolution of the DNA like we were talking about, and then when that portal opens, it's the portal of the heart, because Leo's the heart, right? And so it's really opening you to a whole new um, ability for yourself. Your sensitivity is increasing to the max. So be gentle with yourself during this time because it's a really sacred time. And if you are not already in a healing or um, metaphysical type of capacity in the work that you do, you may be moving into that because you have, um, with the sensitivity, the altruism, the light, the star seer, the awareness and evolution, you have this, um, this energy that's really going to help other people to activate and awaken. It's going to help other people evolve. It's a mutative quality. So um, group two, really be gentle with yourself. Pay attention to what comes through, what colors, what sensitivity, what feelings that you get. Um, really pay attention to light, even in the darker qualities. Um, there's information there for you, just in observing those things. The evolutionary process is happening in your body. Your hands may become more activated, group two, because you're evolving and you've got this, like, because I can feel it um, in my hands right now. Um, you've got this that's going to help other people to, um, to guide them through. So you're really waking up the spiritual warrior inside of yourself. You're waking up the parts of yourself that are um, the seer, the mystic, the one that can see behind the veil. And you're evolving rapidly. Okay, so be gentle with yourself during this light, and all the time, but especially during this Lionsgate portal because your sensitivities are really increasing. This may, may see a change in how you do business, um, how you work with other people, because I do feel like you're going to be in more of a role of helping people to change and balance themselves um, after this activation because you're really, your awareness is awakening and your sensitivities are awakening. Um, those of you who have already been financially successful, you may be giving back in a way that helps other people to evolve, um, creating programs or scholarships or something of that sort that um, can help other people those of you that are moving into more of a financial success, this is going to come through your give back, okay? This is going to come through your service to others, your service to the community. And as a spiritual warrior, this is you being aligned with, um, with what is correct for you so that you can um, serve from a, a cup that is full, okay? So until next time, thank you and aloha. Aloha group three. This is Stephanie with Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your spirit messages for the Lionsgate portal activation. Okay, so every year on um, August 8th, so 8-8, eight, eight, there is the Lionsgate portal. Excuse me, my nose just And Lionsgate portal is when Sirius is in alignment, a very specific alignment. It ends up lining up with the Pyramid in Giza. Special light codes are coming. Um, Sirius is a star that, what is it, he's 26 times the size of our sun. So the amount of energy when it lines up coming through opens the veil. Um, it allows our personal DNA to be activated, updated. Um, it's like a, a beautiful like computer update, if you will. Okay, and so here are the messages from Spirit. We're going to look at a few different things. We're going to look at an archetype or um, a channel from the Wisdom Keepers Oracle. Uh, we're gonna look at Secret Language of Light and the Beyond Lemuria cards. Okay, so we got the Rune of Growth. So already, this tells me that you are going through a growth process in um, while you go through the Lionsgate portal. So 72 hours before opens the gate, 72 hours after the energy is, is in the closing of the gate. So we have innovation, innovation. So you're coming through and learning and growing in your innovative qualities. This could be your innovation in business. This could be your innovation in relationships. It's, it's having those ideas. It's taking something from 
innocence and inspiration and moving it into an innovative process. It's opening the door to um, taking something that you already do, a system that's already um, working okay or even mediocre and making it work amazing through innovation, through new ideas, new action, okay? All right, and then let's look at these guys. Nice, okay. So, the tools that are gonna help you with this innovation is meditation, okay? So you're growing in your meditation, you may be learning new things, the outcome of this is joy. So as you're coming through, there's an innovation that's happening in your heart chakra, there's growth that's happening. You're changing in your lifestyle and how you do work, um, how you do um, relationships, how you do day-to-day -day business in a more innovative way that's going to bring you more joy. During this Lionsgate portal, the energies are opening themselves up so that you can let go. I feel like some of you have been stuck in a relationship or a job that you just haven't wanted to let go of or that you've wanted to but you just haven't had the assistance of the energy, okay? And now this portal is opening. It's giving an energetic boost to cut the ties with the things that bring you anything less than pure and radiant joy, okay? You're growing in your maturity in that you're able to go through this process of letting go in a mature way that it's not the end of the world. You're innovative and you're, you're growing in that process. Okay, we've got blanched forces. These are the beyond Lemuria. Communication, co-creation. And then we got new blueprints. Yeah. All right, let me just see what Blanched Forces means to her, because I've never seen this card before. But what I'm seeing, you guys, is you're going through this letting go process, and you're updating in your um, in your blueprint blueprints. That's um, oh, sorry, it says Balanced Forces. <laughs> I said Blanched. Okay, Balanced Forces. So yin and yang, productive flow, masculine and feminine, uh, balance of duality, okay. So you're coming into balance. You're ha coming into communication and co-creation and you're coming into new blueprints. Where you're gonna find some of these innovative ideas is in your meditation, okay? And honestly, all of this is really beautiful. There's just a piece that you have to let go of from your past. So you may, um, some of you, during this time of filming, we've had um, the COVID virus and there's been like global shutdown. And um, so many of us have lost jobs or other things. So you may be letting go of an old job or an old profession or old relationship. Um, and what spirit's wishing to bring you is joy, like radiant joy. And you're growing in your innovation you're growing in your teamwork and communication and your co-creation. And um, this is really bringing in that balanced yin and yang. It's saying that you're aligning and how you're aligning group three is through that meditation. And if you haven't done formal meditation before, any meditation is a good meditation. I've got some guided meditations on my YouTube channel. You're welcome to use those. You're welcome to sit and um, observe your breath. You're welcome to uh, think about your favorite place and just um, be in all of your senses. What it is is a practice of going inside. Um, sometimes I meditate by crocheting. So there's different active meditations that are available too. What it's coming in for you, this new innovation, is new blueprints. And it's new blueprints of your DNA, new blueprints of your code, new blueprints of what you're here to bring to the earth. And I feel like you're going to be co-creating with others something really beautiful that brings a lot of joy to a lot of people because look at if you're radiating that joy look how far that light goes out okay look how far the light goes and um, so through your growth and how you're growing is in your innovative qualities 
you're growing in your new blueprint, you're growing in your new way of being. And this lion's gate is really going to bring you opportunities. And this opportunity is uh, going to feel a bit magical because you're going to go inside in your meditation, you're going to be learning new things. And because of your balance, this um, co-creation and communication is coming in. So this also lets me, go, lets me know that as you let go of the old that was weighing you down, this, um, like, people are going to come in seemingly out of the blue. Um, opportunities are going to present themselves also seemingly out of the blue, but they're not because you've let go of the energy and because you have this new um, blueprint and this is energetic blueprint too. So I feel like there is a, a resorting that's happening to balance your um, divine masculine and divine feminine qualities, your action, non-action. And so this new blueprint is has the prime directive of joy, okay? It has the prime directive of bringing you joy, having you to be joy. And so allow yourself to grow, allow yourself to go inside, meditate, because then the community shows up for you as you let go of those old energies and as you think of innovative ways to solve the problem. Um, you may have some things that have, you know, maybe been, I don't like to say challenges, opportunities, okay, that you have had in the last several months. Now it's, it's opening up a new way. And I feel for some of you, you're really gonna be building something um, brand new and something that you've been wanting to build for a time that is going to help others. Um, but there's growth that's occurring in order for you to have that. And it, it feels like a big dream, um, but you're being downloaded with the new blueprints, or I call them the schematics, you know, the new schematics so that you can um, move forward in um, your new creation. Um, but remember the prime directive is joy. So asking yourself what brings me joy what things how can i notice joy today how can i notice other people being joyful how can i notice what feels joyful in my own body and you will do that through your meditation you'll do that through your observations through the day as you're working with other people but do understand that growth is um, most assuredly imminent and so um and it's really exciting. In this letting go, I don't feel like it's like this harsh letting go that's happening. I feel like it's like, whew, about time. You know, I've been waiting on this and I've been working. I feel like you've been working hard to let go of a situation and it's just sort of clung on for a, a long while and you've just needed the energetic boost to cut the cord so that you can move into these other places because everything else in your reading says that you're, um, balanced and you're innovative and you're growing and you're communicating and you know um, so this letting go is really gonna just go whoop and line everything up so that um, you can um, bring this new blueprint of yourself and of um, I feel like you have a creation that you're bringing to the world um, so that you can bring it to the world okay and so thank you so much, you guys. These are your energies and messages from Spirit for the Lionsgate portal. Um, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. That helps my channel. And um, until next time, aloha.